Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to any video. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts um, for this year's Fortnite Nightmares. Um, I mean, of course, the main thing we're gonna be talking about is the collabs because the collabs are like out of this world. Like, it's actually insane um, about like what collabs we got this uh, Fortnite Nightmares because they're just that good. Um, but first of all, we'll talk about the game changes and what um, is new in the game. Uh, so we actually got a new shotgun. Um, I don't really remember what it's called, um, but we did get a new shotgun. Um, I've only used it like once or twice, and honestly, I would say it's pretty alright. Um, I think, in my opinion though, I would still use the pump over the new shotgun. Um, also, have you guys been noticing, like, these weird pirate guys on the map everywhere? I don't know what they are, but they just point at, like, treasure. It's just kind of weird. But yeah, anyway, the new shotgun's pretty alright. Um, here it is right here, I think. Oh, wait, no, that is... I'm stupid, that's not the new shotgun. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's also, um, a new mythic in the game. It's the kinetic blade, but it's, like... Um, it kind of got like, um, how do, what's the word? Like, it's like a remake of the original Kinect Blade, but it's more powerful. So you have to actually go, uh, to Eclipse Estate right here to kill the boss. And then he will drop the Kinetic Blade. And it's actually way more overpowered than the original Kinetic Blade. So, um, if you guys feel like getting the new Kinetic Blade... I would definitely recommend to try and get it. Dude, I have not played Horde Rush in a very long time, bro. I'm gonna try and see how good I can do, but I have not played this in a very, very long time. Oh boy. See, I guess like some other um, in-game changes that involve four nightmares. Um, of course, the Witch Broom uh, has also returned, but it's like a red version of it. Um, it works the same as, like, the original one, though. Nothing's that different. Um, what else? They also brought back the pumpkin launcher, and they also brought back the candy. Um, but one thing that I did realize that they didn't bring back is there's not really any, like, POIs, um, like, on the map that are relating to Fortnite Mares, because if you guys do remember last year, uh, we did have at least, like, two POIs, that were like relating to four nightmares but there are not really any this year um but that's okay honestly because the collabs honestly do make up for it um what else they also actually forgot to do jump scares as well i mean honestly i don't know how i feel about it because i was kind of annoyed when it came to the jump scares but at the same time it makes sense because it's four nightmares and if you guys do remember um, the past few years, uh, there were a lot of, like, zombies on the map, and there were a lot of jump scares at the POIs. But, to be honest, other than all of that, um, that is kind of it for all of the in-game changes for Fortnite Nightmares. Now, let's get to the good part of, like, this main, uh, thing in Fortnite Nightmares, the collabs, because the collabs are, like, so insane, and it's probably... Um, the reason why Fortnite Nightmares this year is so good. Now, we actually got only, like, three collabs for Fortnite Nightmares this year, but even then, all of the collabs are actually really good, especially, uh, two of them. So, first off, we have Alan Wake. Now, I actually don't really know who Alan Wake is. Apparently, uh, he's known for, like, a horror video game, and I think there might be, like, a movie about him, but... For some reason, I just never heard about him. Um, also, by the way, this is the new shotgun right here that I was talking about earlier. The wood stake shotgun. Um, so, when it comes to, like, the range, it's better for close-up than long range. But, um, honestly, yeah, I probably would choose the pump over this. Alright, so the next collaboration that we're going to talk about, I'm actually so excited for. It is Jack Skellington. Um... Now, if you guys don't know who Jack Skellington is, you're just living under a rock. But he is so iconic and so well-known. Um, I'm pretty sure the movie came out in 1993. What the heck is that, bro? 
Wait, what? Why is there a boss right there? What the heck? But yeah, Jack Skeleton is so iconic. Um, and if you don't know who he is, you're actually living under a rock. For his back bling, he has like his pet like ghost, I think. And then his pickaxe is like this cool umbrella. Uh, for the glider, it's like the sleigh that he used when he was uh, Santa Claus. And speaking of Santa Claus, he has a second edit style where he is literally Santa Claus himself. So that is really cool. He also has a built-in emote where he actually like screams. And then there's also apparently a secret emote uh, where it's literally playing the song This Is Halloween from the movie. Um, so yeah, if you guys ever saw The Nightmare Before Christmas, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But um, I just never thought we would get Jack Skellington in the game because technically that is the first like official Disney collaboration that we got in Fortnite. So yeah, very cool. Now last but not least, this is the best like collab that we've probably ever gotten in Fortnite in a very, very long time. And it is literally Michael Myers himself, the Halloween legend. Now you guys have to know who Michael Myers is. Even if you're like 10 years old or younger, you have to at least know something about him because this guy right here, Michael Myers, he is literally like the most iconic Halloween uh, mascot ever. Um, him and Ghostface are like the most iconic Halloween mascots. So yeah, we're literally getting Michael Myers and his pickaxe is of course his iconic knife. His emo is literally his own theme song. He's like playing a piano and then he uses his knife as well um, on the key. And it's just so freaking sick. It's like the coolest thing I've ever seen in Fortnite. Um, literally the day before we got the Fortnite's update, I was crossing my fingers and hoping that we were finally going to get Michael Myers in Fortnite. And we finally got him. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that everyone in the community is looking forward to that because I mean, honestly, who doesn't like Michael Myers? Like you have to at least like a little bit of Michael Myers because he's just that cool. But yeah, other than that, um, of course, we also got a few other Halloween skins. We got like um, a reskin of Meowsles, a reskin of Fishstick, um, even a reskin of Love Ranger, and then um, a few other cool Halloween skins. But other than that, that is pretty much all of the Four Nightmares stuff covered um, that I've talked about. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments what do you guys personally think about Four Nightmares 2023. In my opinion, uh, just because of the collaborations that we got, uh, this is probably the best Four Nightmares we've ever had. Like, literally no doubt. Even like, um, Four Nightmares last year is worse than this one. Like, this Four Nightmares completely beats 2022. Uh, but yeah, that is about it for this video, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.